Today we're going to break down the biggest differences between the Pocket 2 and the new Pocket 3 from DJI. Aside from the obvious physical differences, the biggest difference between these two cameras is in the image quality because the Pocket 2 has a 1 over 1.7 inch sensor and the new Pocket 3 has a 1 inch CMOS sensor, which DJI says is a new sensor that was developed specifically for the Pocket 3. The image quality difference is really large. Now, frame rates and resolution, there's actually not that much difference. The biggest being that the Pocket 3 will now shoot in 4K up to 120 frames a second, where the Pocket 2 is limited to 1080p in up to 240 frames a second. One of the biggest differences between the Pocket 2 and the Pocket 3 is that the Pocket 3 now has a native vertical shooting. It's really easy. All you have to do is flip the screen and then it switches to up to 3K vertical mode. Now it doesn't rotate the gimbal, but it does give you a full 3K vertical mode video, which is really nice native vertical video for reels and TikToks, stories, things like that. But the biggest difference in the image quality between these two cameras comes in the dynamic range. Here you can see that the Pocket 3 does considerably better than the Pocket 2 in a really massive dynamic range environment where the sun is behind me and my face is obviously backlit by the sun, but you can still see that the quality difference in the Pocket 3 is quite a bit better, and that's thanks to that new one inch sensor. But another reason that the Pocket 3 looks quite a bit better is also thanks to that one inch sensor, you actually get some background blur. So it looks really nice because you can see here, the background is quite nicely blurred away, which causes you to focus more on whatever is in frame. And with that background blur comes the ability, because the Pocket 3 has phase detect autofocus, you can actually hold things up to the camera and it will focus on that unit. And the close focus distance is actually very close on the Pocket 3. And thanks to that new larger sensor, we also get considerably better low light performance. Here you can see the difference between the two. The Pocket 3 is blowing the Pocket 2 out of the water, even when you're not shooting in the new low light mode that the Pocket 3 includes. And then when you switch to the low light mode that the Pocket 3 includes, you get substantially better performance in the image quality. And of course, one major difference is that the Pocket 3 now has 10-bit color with D-Log M, where the Pocket 2, while it does have an HDR mode, it only has 8-bit color and it only has D-Cine like. So if you're gonna do color grading, try to match up with other cameras, the D-Log M is going to be able to be pushed a lot farther and made to look like and match up with your other cameras. There is one way that the Pocket 2 still beats the Pocket 3 in image quality, and that's in photos, because the Pocket 2, you have the ability to shoot up to 64 megapixel photos, which do look really nice, where the Pocket 3 is limited to about nine and a half megapixels, Still, the photos do look pretty nice coming out of the Pocket 3 too. When it comes to audio, I didn't find that there was any real appreciable difference between these two. Both do a great job of picking up your voice when you're nearby. They both handle about the same amount of wind. Built-in mics on the Pocket 2. This is how it sounds. A little stream running over there. Should be in stereo. And this is the Pocket 3. Same thing. Stream running over there. Should be in stereo. They should both sound good. And even with the external microphones, if you get the creator combo or you've had the creator combo, they both sound good and they both have about the same sound quality and wind resistance in my opinion. The one difference is that the Pocket 2 and the new DJI Mic 2 transmitter will give you a lot more distance away from the unit as far as keeping transmission. And of course, the new DJI Mic transmitter 2 records internal 32-bit audio. So now this is the Pocket 2's little extra mic receiver that you got with the creator combo kit which i was a huge fan of because it did a really good job and now this is the mic the dji mic 2 that comes with the creator combo of the pocket 3. another massive difference and upgrade that dji made in the pocket 3 is the new active track 6.0 as opposed to active track 3.0 now that shouldn't be surprising three generations of active track later it should be quite a bit improved but when I started comparing the two side by side, the difference is substantial. The Pocket 3 does a much better job of tracking a subject and keeping those movements nice and smooth so that it looks more natural, almost like somebody else was actually filming you. Where the Pocket 2 is quite a bit more jerky and quite a bit, quite a bit less accurate with the tracking ability. But also the tracking will come down to some user refinements that we'll talk about in a little bit. It is much easier to activate active track on the Pocket 3. You just basically tap or double tap a subject that you're looking at or, but also the Pocket 3 has a couple of different options for tracking. Here you can use face auto detect, which works really well. Whatever's in the center of the frame, as soon as it sees a face, it will start tracking it and it locks on really well. 
They also have this new dynamic framing mode, which enables you to select certain focus points on the screen between nine different squares, and it will keep the subject, whatever you're tracking, in that particular area of the screen, which I really like. Then we come to battery life and charging. While the Pocket 2 has up to 140 minutes of battery life, the Pocket 3 comes in with 166 minutes. Now, that's dependent on how you're using it, what frame rates and resolution you're shooting in. That was all at 1080p in 24 frames a second. If you're shooting at 4K or higher frame rates, then that is obviously gonna change. But a huge difference is the fact that the Pocket 3 recharges fast or does fast recharging. It'll charge up to 80% in 16 minutes, where the Pocket 2 will charge up to 80% in about 44, 45 minutes. But also, because the Pocket 3 is newer on the market, if you're buying the Creator Combo, you get this battery, uh, battery handle, which gives you a whole nother option for being able to get longer battery life. Now, it doesn't double the battery life, but it does give you about 60% more. So if you're coming from something where you're filming for an hour and a half, that's gonna give you another 45 minutes or 50 minutes of recording time, which is a massive amount of more recording time. Next is the user interface. And that comes in a couple of different ways. One, the software has been massively overhauled to make it much easier to get around the menus on the Pocket 3, but also there's a huge difference in the screen size. You have this tiny little screen on the Pocket 2 that was always kind of difficult to use and difficult to get to work properly. Whereas with this, you have this giant new two inch touchscreen that gives you a much larger interface to be able to uh, get around with. But also the user interface has been updated quite a bit to where you just move around. It makes it really easy to go through and select things. The touchscreen works really well. Whereas with the Pocket 2, it works well, but you have very limited and it's much a much more confusing menu system to go through things where the Pocket 3 is just a lot easier and a lot more clearly laid out. And that leads us into the physical differences between these two cameras. Now, obviously the Pocket 3 is a fair bit larger than the Pocket 2. It's also a bit heavier, but I find that I actually kind of like it, especially if you get the creator combo or even just with this handle here, when you plug it in, it makes it a nice size to hold, even with the screen open, you're not really covering anything up. And I mean, I don't have tiny hands, so uh, that's not really a big deal for me. But with the Pocket 2, I always found that it was just a little on the small sign to hold for me. Even with the do-it-all handle that came with the uh, Creator Combo, I still found it a little on the small side to use and handle. Now, the Pocket 2 was great, and if you do the creator combo, the nice thing is you get this eighth inch jack, which means you can plug in other uh, microphones. Whereas with the Pocket 3, if you're going to plug in anything else, it has to be USB-C compliant. Now it does work with almost every USB-C microphone that I've tried, including the mic, the DJI mics, uh, the DDD4, and the Rode mics with via USB-C, the Rode wireless mics, and then also uh, Sennheiser USB-C Lav works with it as well. But another difference between these two is that for this to use the wireless microphone that came with the creator kit, you had to have this do-it-all handle, whereas with the Pocket 3, you don't. You just need the Pocket 3 and the DJI Mic 2, which works really well, and I really enjoy it. But if you do get the creator combo, you obviously get the bonus of having the battery handle and getting the extra battery life. Now, one thing to note, and one question I've gotten a lot in my Pocket 3 review is, are any of the accessories from the Pocket 2 compatible with the Pocket 3? And the answer is no. The lens size is different, so none of the magnetic accessories from the Pocket 2 will work with the Pocket 3. And the new DJI mic is different as well. So the old mic will not work with the Pocket 3 and the new mics will not work with the Pocket 2. But next you're gonna to wanna to watch this video right here. I'll see you over there. As always, if you have questions, ask me in the comments below or join my live stream, which happens most Wednesday nights, 4 p.m. Alaska time, 8 p.m. Eastern, where we can have more of a conversation and maybe I can answer questions that I didn't cover in this video specifically. I will see you again soon in the next video. Cheers.